In a Christian worldview, is romance good or bad or somewhere in the middle? Let's find out. So today we are looking at the Christian view of romance. A Christian, I mean today Christians romantic at all? We are learning. <laughs> yes, we are learning and we can never stop learning. Okay. Yes, so I'll speak from the perspective of a man, how we do see the Christian ladies. Lots of Christian men, okay, right now we are marrying our fellow Christian. Right. Yeah. First, it was not so. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, Christian men uh, uh, either prefer uh, ladies that were not churchy because uh, they used to believe that they really understand how to treat men in a loving way. With a Christian man or with a Christian guy, he normally, normally when he is dating his fellow Christian lady. Mm -hmm what they do is okay they wake up church program church program pray pray ask. and the rest which is good very mm -hmm. very good but they are not able to balance it with social life so our concentration is more of our spiritual life mm -hmm. than our uh, social life that shouldn't that be the case after all we are a spirit beings so if our spirit is well fed wouldn't it translate automatically to the physical Yes, of course, we are spirit being, but we need to understand that as we are spirit, we are in a body. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? So there should be a balance. Okay. There should be a balance between the two of them. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul said something which I really love, that being led by the spirit, okay, you are applying yourself to the things of the spirit, not neglecting mm -hmm. the things of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Because if, for example, uh, you are fasting every time for the whole year, without eating you should know that your body also needs food mm. do you get it so at a point in time you need to what break to be able to nourish and take care of your your, your body. body as well but i don't think that for the way today christian ladies or women mm -hmm. we are quite romantic compared to the men uh, how do you say that oh i'm i'm practically sure you know women you know we are expressive you know, we can send nice messages. We don't mind holding our partner's hands and hugging them, you know. But men, especially for those of you who are in ministry, you're always pretty cool when you're going to church, you're serious with your suit and all. <laughs> That's not the time to play romance. Even for the married men, I mean, is you carry God for your head. It's good to carry God on top of your head because after all, God is our everything. But the women, you know, yeah, you're romantic. A Christian man, are you there? Are you there? Do you believe what she's saying? No, no, I don't think so. I'm sure I you don't do. think our ladies, okay. Our ladies, some, not all, some mm. are romantic, majority are not. Mm. As she said rightly, most of our ladies are carrying God on their head. They are carrying God <laughs> on their head like Gilly. <laughs> They are carrying God on their head. Everything is so spiritual. Everything is so spiritual. So we are learning as time goes on. So I believe that we'll get there. We'll get there. Yes, we'll get there. The men, I am when you're romantic. Okay. Even so my little baby is agreeing to. She just raised her hand. She's agreeing to the fact that mothers, Christian mothers, are more romantic. No, no. How 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 do you want us to be romantic? So now you tell us. How do you want us to show? I mean, lovely SMS, you know, show that you care, flowers, women love beautiful things. We have the book of Psalms, we have the, the songs of, of Solomon, where we can get all our vibes there. Guys, I guess you understand where I'm coming from. We have our vibes. So we are better. We are better than our ladies. The ladies, you know, they are shy, they are, they are, they are trying to be all, 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 aha, you see the baby girl. She agrees. She agrees. <laughs> yes. Yes. She knows that the guys are much better because the guys, we have our romantic. Oh, you are you are like the gazelle, the gazelle of, of the field. When we see you, we, 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 we melt. You know, you know, you know, songs of Solomon. We have the words there. We have the words there. Oh, my God. I'm laughing in capital letters. 
seriously the fact that we are christians does not excuse us from being romantic we are christians and we are on earth uh we have eternity in view mm -hmm. while we are here on earth i think we can do all we can to be good spouses i mean one of the ways to be a good spouse apart from praying and being spiritually grounded is also to be physically affectionate um being romantic towards your partner is is a good and however you translate romance means different things to different people mm -hmm. so however you translate it to be whether you want to do it public show or whether you want to do it indoor however you want to do it please um then just pray 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 especially those men in ministry <laughs> Let, let, let me just uh, chip in um, the scripture you know of uh, our common scripture john 3 verse 16 mm -hmm. for god so loved the world that he gave so he showed his love by sending his one and only begotten son to come and die in our state so you could actually see that our father expressed his love to his wife or to humanity his bride mm -hmm. by giving his what his one and only son to come and die in our state so i believe that christian um uh, women our ladies they should they should also show it's not every time that you should be expecting the man to be given and all the time the men are given ladies too sometimes you need to give you need to give you understand you need to give you need to sometimes when 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 a man a christian man comes home he's very tired mm -hmm. sometimes even at work which my wife is very good how 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 is the day going i love you we are with you praying for you do you get it it shouldn't be just all all the time about you but sometimes with such things we still feel like you are thinking about us mm -hmm you love us mm -hmm. those little things it helps because most of the times even on valentine day let me use thanksgiving day mm -hmm. most of the women rather want the men to be rather giving but how do you would you see some of them some of our ladies even giving to them mm -hmm. when you tell them they just tell you oh i'm not working ah our husband have money and the rest Mm. but it should be vice versa we give you also give okay so that is my thought about that yeah and i also think that um giving like he, he rightly said doesn't necessarily mean um physical giving i mean your husband comes back from work he can plant a kiss on their face mm -hmm. on their cheek mm -hmm. he can hug them embrace them say beautiful nice words if you can't think of any at least you can google it and uh, how can you google kissing now no you cannot you cannot google kissing you know i mean uh, say nice romantic words that make your partner feel that like, yes indeed you're thinking about them and you're concerned about them i mean it, it even helps to stir up the atmosphere in case you're thinking of becoming intimate because um romance is one of the things that bonds couples together and it's it's one of the things that makes intimacy a smooth ride for couples isn't it yeah yeah that is very true is romance a sin for a christian and mind you we're not talking about those dating we're talking about married couple okay so we need to first of all know what romance is mm -hmm. and we know that romance is the feeling of excitement mm -hmm. or mystery mm -hmm. associated with love mm -hmm. so it's from this simple definition mm -hmm. then romance as a christian is a sin okay but also sometimes we need to understand that it's how you act mm -hmm. okay that will make something a sin or not yeah so if you're married and you're feeling romantic towards somebody else other than your spouse then yes your christianity should be questioned yes so it's mystery mystery even mystery how how mysterious and excited are you to express or showcase in love in your love with your partner still i do believe that christian men <laughs> are better better off than our women i'll never agree to it anyway but why do you think so oh as i said 
men we tend to be more expressive more expressive our, yes of course because how many women tends to use songs of solomon uh to try to vibe or try to create that kind of you only use the song of solomon when you both are still single you're probably planning for your wedding you I know, know those those no. aspects you use on the no. wedding card. we have the word of the lord mm. and the songs of solomon is in the word mm. so so far as we are married i need to be using songs of solomon for you mm. you women what do you do Oh, we praying. no no no. We don't just pray. We show it. We show affection. How we kiss you, we hug you, we write you yeah. notes. You know, the all the romantic scenes ah. when you come back from work that you see. Ah, some of the those enough. some of the romantic words I know our wives tend to write for us is, uh, please when you are coming, please can you pass by KFC. And get us some uh, chicken nuggets. And then we'll add, I love you, darling. Of Isn't course. that romantic? <laughs> <laughs> so you now see, you now see from here that we, the men, we are better off than our ladies. However, because right now the church is teaching the right way, teaching we believers the right way so that we do not learn from the world this is actually helping us and we are growing from time to time that it's not every time that we ought to yes our spiritual life should be there but we should also learn to balance it as well that always so but still the men the christian men are winning we are winning this battle we'll continue to win the battle because we have the vibes Damn. because we are more expressive in terms of words in terms of action Wow, because in terms of everything, the men are just the top notch. Ladies, sorry, so sorry for you, sorry for you, Christian men. We are winning and we'll win at any time. The battle is the Lord. Of course, you see, they've agreed. They, they've just agreed. They just agreed that the men have won, so they've given the battle to the Lord. <laughs> I have not agreed, <laughs> but of course, I I leave God to fight our battles. Love and romance, although intertwined, are not identical. We can have romance without real love, and we can love without feeling romantic. The Song of Solomon is a book filled with demonstration of love between a bride and groom. Because God included this book in the canon of his inspired word, we can safely say that romance is acceptable and applauded by our creator. Romance in the context of pure and committed relationship can enhance that relationship and increase the enjoyment of married love as God intended. However, I must add that romance for the sake of romance can be destructive. Romance can either be positive or negative depending on whether we let those emotions rule our lives. So choose positively you know i like to leave you with a scripture to ponder on so this week i'm leaving you with john chapter 15 verse 13 and it says greater love has no one than this that someone laid down his life for his friends if you found this video helpful then please do the needful hit the subscribe button share this video turn on the notification bell and drop a comment thank you so much like i'm your way again next week do have a fabulous week